for your patience. Uh, while we got set up here to um, switch gears, I was teaching one of my online classes just now. My students graduated from their astrology program tonight. And I am here to talk to you about 2024. We have a brand new online program for you that is open for registration now. It will begin in January. When you register, you're not gonna pay anything because the class doesn't start until January. So my students are still finishing our, our, our 2023 programs right now. But you're reserving your space. And I have a lot to tell you about tonight. I'm here to answer all of your questions. If you have friends in our current programs or people you know who are like, next year I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna join Sage Goddess Online Programs. <clears throat> I wanna tell you two things to start. First of all, the new program is called Apothecary. And it's completely different from anything else I've taught. I've been teaching online classes in magic for 12 years. I'm going into my 12th year. And uh, this is year 13 for Sage Goddess, but we didn't really start teaching online programs right away. So it's been a long time. And I love teaching online. If you have not taken online classes before, I will tell you, it's just as if you're sitting there in person. I take a lot of time to do Q&A during classes, to personalize the teaching. We have a feed, live feed, so I can see your questions, and I leave time and space during every class, especially at the end of class for questions and answer, period. The other thing I'm gonna tell you about um, this year in particular, why I'm so excited about it, is it's a fully integrated curriculum. Most years we've done kind of a separate, something about gemstones and something about astrology or something about you know, aromatherapy, but it's also been very separated and not fully integrated. In 2024, Apothecary is the first time that I'm pulling it all together in one really unified curriculum for you. And of course I'm excited because the word Apothecary comes from the Greek. <laughs> But it actually, uh, this, this journal, which is a free gift if you sign up, if you're one of the first thousand people who signs up for the annual program, which means you pay for the whole year up front, but you save two months of your tuition. And by the way, my understanding, Karen can correct me if I'm wrong, you can use a firm and afterpay to break up your annual subscription. So it's a crazy value. And we did not raise prices this year on our programs which is crazy. The programs in 2022 were the same price as 2023, the same price as 2024. We just wanted to make sure anybody who wanted to come and learn felt like it was an affordable option for them to do so. Apothecary is a program that was born in the jungle. I went to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico in August. And literally during that time, during that trip, I met with a shaman there and it came up, you know, what about your teaching? Where is it going? How is it evolving? And we ended up having this whole conversation that led to everything I'm gonna tell you about tonight. I went back to my room and I journaled and I drew and I doodled and I, I you know, channeled and just transcribed our conversation and the, the result is this incredible program that I am so excited about. Every year I've brought you something that I believe in heart and soul but I really think this year is special for a couple of reasons, and it is different for a couple of reasons. First thing I wanna tell you is this notebook, which we're calling your book of wisdom, it's your apothecary journal, it's real leather, and by the way, all the pages are made by hand. You'll have a chance to buy it afterward if you don't sign up for the annual membership, it's just we're gifting it to the, those people who choose that. My focus this year is on your legacy. And I want to give you this book of wisdom. And every month we are going to art journal together. We've never done that before. Session three of every month is literally just us art journaling together. And it isn't gonna be just pen to paper. It is going to be herbs and seeds and essential oils and your fingerprints. And I'm going to task you to write both with your left hand and your right hand, which balances the masculine and the feminine. We're gonna do some intuitive writing, um, channeled writing together. And by the end of the year, this thing will probably be hard to close, <laughs> um, but it is literally going to be a documentation of everything you know about magic. 
I'm gonna give you assignments through the course of the year outside of class to add to this, such as I want you to create your own wheel of the year. I'm gonna give you lots of guidance about how to do that, but I want you to write what matters to you in the East, and I imagine you adding a feather in the East, right? Or what matters to you in the South, and I imagine you attaching a, a match, right? Um, and what matters to you in the North, and maybe you adding some chipstones to it. And so this is going to become a living record of your magic. It's so exciting to me because as I get older, I think about legacy. I think about the things that, it, you know, it, that I've created and that I've built and that I have collected over the years. And what will really be important to my future ancestors, I've learned, is something like this. I would give anything to have something like this from my mom or my aunt or my grandmother or my uncle or my grandfather. I can't even tell you, I'm sure you can imagine what that would mean to have that in your hands and to be able to flip through the pages and, and have it be a tactile experience, right? One month we're gonna be studying cacao um, uh, beans and, and um, cacao medicine and we're gonna draw a cacao and we're going to crush cacao and we're going to um, infuse the page with cacao oil and rose petals if you want or lavender and so it's and then you're gonna write I'm gonna ask you to write a poem about love and your relationship to chocolate and do you know it's like every page is just gonna be so full of your magic and then on the off pages when it isn't an, an assignment from me you can add photographs you can include other pieces of writing that you've done when you find a beautiful leaf out on your walk, right, bring that in and add that to the page and make a note of that, that day that you found it and where you were and why it's speaking to you. So the program is called Apothecary. The journal, the Book of Wisdom is called Apothecary, but there are four sessions each month. So I wanna break them down for you and I wanna make sure that if you have any questions, I'm able to answer them. So definitely ask your question. And if I don't see your question right away, um, Karen will help me maybe repeat the question so that I can um, so that I can make sure I come back to your question there will be a private Facebook group called apothecary it already exists it's beautiful we just haven't added you yet but we've already made it and so after class that's where you're gonna go and hang out with me and Karen and all of your classmates and ask questions you didn't get a chance to ask during class or um, and I'm also gonna be doing a little bit more impromptu work in the Facebook group too this year um, and we're going to be having a little bit more class from home. I'm going to be cooking more with you this year. Uh, we're actually going to be replanting my raised beds together at my house in my garden in um, around springtime, either March or April. Uh, so we're going to be planting and gardening and cooking and creating and baking and um, just having a lot of fun here in the office space, but also at home. And a lot of my students love that. They love coming into the house, setting up in the kitchen and seeing what I'm brewing. So we're going to do all of that together. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Uh, so we can, we can do your gardening together too. We can, we're going to plan our gardens together first. What, what are you planting? What are the properties of those plants? I'm going to have you kind of chart it out in your notebook. And then we will actually go and plant together. And I'll, we'll talk about pot gardening too. So if you have a, you know, a tighter space, still no reason for you not to be um, planting your garden this spring. So we're gonna do that together. Um, so there are four sessions and I wanna explain to you what the four are. Um, and there's only one pricing, but I will tell you, we did not raise our prices this year. So that is the gift to you. The whole program per month is $100. And if you sign up for the whole year, it's only $1,000. It would be $1,200 for 12 months, but we give you um, two months for free. So it works out to be, when you really look at everything you get, it's like 20 bucks an hour, not even. 20 bucks a class, which is two hours long. So like I always tell my students, I can't go anywhere in the world and learn for $20 an hour or $20 a class. It just doesn't, it doesn't exist, even a yoga class. Um, so we try to bring, we, we try to be the most affordable online learning space for you for metaphysical knowledge and wisdom and experienced too. But we also, you know, want you to know that we don't compromise quality or, or you know, for, for the price. It really is, I think, one of the most beautiful programs you will experience. And we're only doing apothecary once this year. So let me tell you how it's going, okay? 
There are four sessions. The first session is called the altar. The second session is our journey, our meditation. Every month we're going to do a guided meditation because every month we have archetypes, we have guides. January is Eve and Lilith. <laughs> the first wives of Adam, right? We have a very diverse set of characters this year for our archetypes, by the way, but we thought Eve and Lilith and these concepts of obedience and disobedience would be a very interesting way to start the year. And wisdom, what's the price of wisdom, right? Temptation. Um, the third session is our apothecary session. That is our book of wisdom, mixed media art journaling session, and incense crafting together. And then our fourth session is called Sacred Circle, and that is going to be happening from my home on Sundays. And that is, <clears throat> come in your pajamas, I'll probably come in mine, and bring your coffee, bring your tea, um, cozy up with me, and just hang. Sometimes we will have a craft that we're going to do together. A lot of the time my intention is it's just a hang space. And you can actually take session four on its own. It's called Sacred Circle, and you can purchase just Sacred Circle. And if you don't want to take the rest of the curriculum, but you really would love to come and hang out, sometimes I'll be doing live readings. Just kind of be in the moment to see what's coming up. Glass and Wine works too. Um, if you are enrolled in programs right now, your membership is rolling over. The one note that my team gave me to tell you, um, <clears throat> everybody's already been rolled over if you're already in programs now. The only change you need to make is if you want to change your membership level. So let's say you were just in one class this year and now you're like, I want all four classes. You have to go in and change it to apothecary, okay? Because if you were in one class this year, you're being rolled over into sacred circle since we assume you wanna take one class. If you want to do all four, you have to go in and change that. The other change you'll need to make if you subscribe to the yearly membership of classes this year and used a firm or zip to register, you will have to go in and add your payment method for 2024 and do that again because a firm and zip don't let you roll over. I think I got that correct, TMSG, but please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? That is that is that. So again, session one, let me back up and explain what it means. Every month, if you remember a class called Magical Sabbatical, there's little elements of sabbatical in this program, We're kind of going back to the roots a little bit, which is fun. And we used to have a commitment form and do a little commitment ceremony at the beginning of the month. And it's a, it almost looks like a little certificate, but it's your commitment to you. So it's, it's, you know, what do you want to commit to this month? You're going to know the themes of the class. You're going to know generally, generally kind of like what our areas of focus are. And then what do you want to achieve? In, in this month for you personally in your learning. I find that writing it down helps. I definitely have some OGs like Jessica Hicks here. Um, <clears throat> and so you're gonna complete that with me in session one. We are going to set up our altar for the month. Every month your altar is going to expand. So normally what I've done in the past is I've given you like a full kit for each month and the next month you kind of stop using that kit, you start using a new kit, you stop using that kit, you start using a new kit. I wanted to do it a little different this year. Every month we're adding items to our altar, but they stay and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the inspiration for that was, it's modeled after the shaman I worked with in the Yucatan in the jungle. He and I talked a lot about, because he had an altar that was quite large, like five feet by five feet, which yours could end up being. Now you can make it smaller and just work with the tools of the month or you can choose to kind of expand this out into a bigger space. But instead of putting everything away at the end of the month and starting with new things, and then it's like, well, what, what about those things? Aren't they still good? We're gonna build and enhance and grow and build and enhance and grow. Does that make sense? And so every month we're bringing you new tools that we will work with that month, but we're still gonna go back and work with the previous tools as well. So nothing gets kind of left behind, okay? Um, and so, and then there's gonna be a core teaching for the month, whatever that core principle or core teaching, a lot of people like it when I bring them some meat on the bone, as I like to say. So there will be kind of a guiding teaching or a guiding principle that I'll be teaching you and guiding you through for session one. Um, and But session one is focused on our set and our setting, setting up our altar, making our personal commitment statements, arranging our tools. I might also have you be doing some prep 
for session three when we do our art journaling. For example, in January, during session one, I'm going to ask you to bring an apple um, and a pomegranate if you want to. We're actually going to slice those together. We're going to harvest the seeds and we're going to bless them. And then I'm going to teach you how to dry them. I'm also going to teach you how to make infusions of apple and pomegranate and I'm going to have you keep the infusions so that we can stain our art journaling pages with the infusions of apple and pomegranate and work with the dried seeds to place them into our book of wisdom during session three. So you're going to have some homework. <laughs> it's the most magical of homework um, but it'll be like okay so go get your apple, go get your pomegranate, here's how you cut it, here's how you harvest the seeds, here's how you make an infusion, here's how you dry it. And then if you wanna also, I'll teach you how to work with those infusions. We're gonna make different infusions every month, which will start to color and tint the pages and add to the texture and the, and the beauty of the experience that we're gonna have together. Session two is gonna be a journey, either a sound journey, drum journey, breath work journey with the archetypes of the month. So we're gonna be really coming to know even Lilith in session two when we journey together. And then we'll be doing a, a debrief and an integration. Session three is when we go to the Book of Wisdom. So now we are, our hands are in it. You can be working with paints and brushes and, and pencils and art markers of any kind that you love. We'll be bringing some of those tools to you in your kits over the year, but certainly your own art supplies are welcome to be used. If you're gonna join the program and you know it already, by the way, registration is open. And like I said, you're not paying anything right now. You're just reserving your space and you can purchase your tools. We have tool kits. Um, two sets of tools. One is called the Sacred Circle Set and one is called the Apothecary Set. They're meant to be complementary, and we're going to work with all the tools all month long, which you can reserve your tools now too if you want to do that. And um, Karen has put the link up for you. The link is also in the copy above this, um, above this live as well. So that is the nuts and bolts of sessions one, two, and three. And then session four, like I said, is gonna be our opportunity just to spend time together. I think it will go by very quickly. <laughs> and uh, every month will be different. And I think where our conversations go and what they evolve into, and also just having you in my home is gonna be really special. And also doing those sessions on a Sunday, which we have not done before, which a lot of people are excited about because a lot of people have a little space on Sundays, you know? And so knowing that that's once a month, one of those Sundays is just you and me is gonna be very exciting, I think. Yeah, so tools are separate and there is a fee for the tools. Um, it's the same fee as it was this year. So again, we haven't raised prices on you. Um, and you can, tools are optional, okay? So you can choose to register for classes and tools or you can choose to register just for classes. You can choose to register for one class or the whole curriculum. You can sign up for annual, meaning you pay for everything up front. You can get your tools. You can sign up for an annual membership for your tools and, and take that out of the way. Again, you save two months every time you do that. And you can use your Affirm and your Afterpay to separate those payments. Um, or you can just do one. You can choose to do the tools for January and see when the February tools come out, if you're interested in them. So I really make this a very kind of, you do this, how it works best for you. I'm the kind of person, you know, if I know I wanna do a whole program, I'd, I'd rather save $200, for example, um, and, and pay for it up front and spread my payments out. But the, I have a lot of students who go month to month and that works best for them. And there's, there's no difference to any of us. It's, we try to make this as easy for you as we possibly can. Um, in order to get this free, incredible book of wisdom as a gift, it's it's ninety nine dollars when it comes, okay? And it's it's real leather, it's handmade. The pages were all handmade, and it's been hand bound, all in my hand. But it's free to the first one thousand students who subscribe to the annual program. Um, then you get you save two hundred dollars for signing up for the annual program, and you get a hundred dollar journal. So basically, you're getting three hundred dollars as a gift from us. And so, if you're in the annual program now, you will roll over unless you used a firm or afterpay, and then you have to go in and just modify your payment method. So you 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 will be rolled over, but you have to um, update your payment details. Yeah, and and I would double check. You know, I'm that kind of person. Just make sure, go into your membership page and just make sure everything's accurate for what you want. 
And like I said, if you if you rolled over into Sacred Circle because you were in one program this year, but you really want to do the full apothecary program, you'll have to make that change. Right now, if you if you have today or you have previously in the last couple of days signed up for the annual, we we have enough journals, so we will let you know um, if if we get to a place where we are out of journals, we will let you know. Yeah. Um, you will be automatically sent your tools. Yeah, so if you subscribe to the tools, <clears throat> you're gonna add, put your address in and they will be automatically sent to you every month. It's so easy and it's kind of fun. You know, it's like you get your monthly box and this is your set of tools for the class that's coming. So yeah, everything comes to you automatically. It's, it's easy that way. If that's, if that's something that you can do and you want to do, we try to make it easier for you that way. Okay. Um, okay. Let me see if there's anything else in my notes that I'm supposed to tell you. Um, oh yeah, and this year we have a new, um, a new little benefit. We have created something called the Member Archive Rewards Program. So if you're in the program for three months and then six months and then at 12 months, you get store credit to sagegoddess.com, which I think is really cool. <clears throat> that store credit can be used on member tools. So. And it isn't gonna be just the tools from class. We have some special things coming that we're gonna to add to the vault section for members that aren't necessarily class tools. Things that, things that we find and what we purchase and that seem really relevant to class but maybe don't fit in your toolkit or um, you know, are kind of above and beyond. And so you'll get your store credit and you can use it to go into that section and, and shop for free, which is kind of cool. It's a new little, a new little membership perk. Um, the 2024 Apothecary Monthly Tools subscription is $111 for the whole year, uh, or sorry, per month, and you have to subscribe by December 15th, and the Sacred Circle Monthly Tools subscription is $44, and you have to subscribe by December 15th. So it's $111 and $44, if you do the whole thing, you can do your math. It's $155. Um, if you are a student in class this year, I just want to remind you, you have lifetime access to your program. So your, your class content is all archived permanently. And that's the case for every class I've taught since the beginning. So even if you were a student 11 years ago, you can still go back to the original content in your archives. You have that forever. It doesn't go anywhere. We're still um, going to be offering you notes for every class, so you don't have to sit there and like try to keep up with what I'm saying. There will be notes offered to you afterward, which I think is a huge benefit. Because some people, it's like they want to just focus. They want to be in the moment. They don't want to sit there and, and take notes. And so we offer that to you as a benefit so that you can really pay attention and be, and be present. Um, once you're enrolled, we will have the Book of Wisdom available separately for purchase. Okay? So yeah, so the annual membership is not the only way to get the Book of Wisdom, but it's the only way to get it for free. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful idea to have a shawl. We have talked about that. I love the concept of a prayer shawl. And by prayer, I just mean whatever sacred work that you're doing, but it's a shawl that you wear only during those times. You know what I mean? That That's special to you. Um, a lot of people love the ones that I wear because they're kind of off the shoulder and sexy and very lightweight. So we might incorporate that into one of the classes too. But I think something beautiful that you can drape yourself in as you sit down to prepare yourself for class would be really beautiful. Um, so yes, you can, if you can't join by the 15th, you actually have all the way until the end of December to sign up for programs. If you want the tools though, because we have to plan, you know what I mean? You, if you want the tools, you have to sign up for the tools by the 15th. Otherwise, if you sign up after December 15th, you're gonna be getting the tools for February. We kind of have to do that because a lot of the tools are handmade and we have to give accurate counts to um, the different people who are helping us source and build those tools and our internal team who, too, who packages all of the herbs and the oils and the, does that make sense? So we have to do a little bit of advanced planning so that we make sure we have enough for everybody and that they ship on time and get everything to everybody where it needs to be. We, we, are, we are still small that way. <laughs> so we can't, we can't, you know, I would love to be able to take your order for tools on December 30th and ship it to you on the 31st, but everything gets put together and packaged and made by hand. So it takes a little bit of time to do that. Um, 
Yes, and so we'll, we're going to be talking about lots of herbs this year, Deb, in, including the herbs that we collected this year in the little jars at sagegoddess.com if you were collecting those. The goal this year is not just that you build your book of wisdom, it's that you build your wall of herbs, your, your physical apothecary, um, so that you become what we're calling a medicine keeper, right? That you, that you have, I want you to have near encyclopedic wisdom of most of the major and minor herbs that healers use around the world by the end of the year. So you're gonna walk away really feeling like you have a breadth of knowledge, but also a depth of knowledge. And then my goal was, you know, let's not just do incense, right? Let's actually work with our herbs and our, our our essential oils and our seeds and our flowers. I want you to dry and press flowers with me this year in the spring when they come and make art with it, right? It's beautiful to have jars of things around your home and I want you to have that. I think that's magical, right? How many of you have been to an apothecary before where you walk in and it just, the smell and the sight and the colors and the, and we're setting up a beautiful stage for this class that I think is gonna delight you and inspire you. But I also think making art with what you have is beautiful too. And it's a different way than we've ever worked with herbs and oils and flowers and goodness before. So oh, I'm so glad. I've been wanting to teach a class like this. Leisha's asking what herbs we're talking about. We, we've had these, and don't get frustrated because I think they're all out of stock right now, but we've had the cutest little jars of herbs at sagegoddess.com that come with these little wooden spoons. And um, you know, a lot of us have been collecting them because they're so cute. And we're gonna continue that line because it, it will look beautiful in addition to all the other beauties that are coming to you. Um, so um, do you get the book if you sign up on a month to month basis? You can buy the book if you sign up on a month to month basis. It's just a gift. It's a gift if you sign up for the annual, but if you do month to month, which is totally fine, you will be able to buy this separately. Yeah. Ah. Uh, we, I know, we ran out of bay. You know, it, it, it's so funny because everybody asks me, especially now that we're starting this program, but what's your favorite herb? I just made myself, I, I have this thing about salt baths. And now I'm obsessed with foot soaks, which might sound really funny. But I've been really studying <clears throat> reflexology. I've been talking for two days straight, so bear with my voice. But I've been really studying... Um, the magic of the feet and the chakras in the feet and healing of the feet and how the healing of your feet impacts the rest of your body. So I've been alchemizing this blend, not to bring the sage goddess, I'll teach you how to make it in the class of all these oils. And I've been putting, I've been crushing the herbs to release the oils from the herbs. And I've been using different kinds of salts and kind of experimenting with the proportions and, oh, thank you. I'm gonna add that to my tea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sweet Jasmine just brought me water. I'm gonna add it to my throat coat. <laughs> Tea. Um, oh, I'm so happy to see you too. So yes, you will. So yes, Michelle Nicello, there will be, um, you'll be able to see the listing of what we're working with each month. And so you can go through and kind of make notes and go and bring your own supplies if you're not purchasing the tools, which I think is perfectly fine. Yeah, the book is not available to purchase yet. Right now we only have the books here for the people who are signing up for the annual membership, the Book of Wisdom, the Apothecary Journal. It is the biggest, sexiest journal I've ever seen in my life. It's honestly, when we designed this, it was a team effort. We all kind of gave our input. And when it arrived and it was sitting in the room, there was a collective of our team going, <gasps> we could hardly breathe. Because it was like everything we hoped it would be. The pages are all handmade, you know what I mean, and rough around the edges. And then you can see how it's been hand pieced together. And then this is all hand stitched. And then there's this big wrap around cord <clears throat> so that if you want, you can put it through the loop. And there's different widths. But I'm telling you, by the end of the year, if you do this thing right, <laughs> it'll be so hard to close. I'm gonna recommend that you display it and we're actually gonna bring in for you, for students in the class, we're having these custom made wood stands to hold your book open to a page and then this becomes your bookmark, right? So that when people walk into your apothecary, there's your book open to whatever page you want it to be on or you are making a recipe and you wanna go back and read your recipe and so it's, the book is sitting on your book holder 
Isn't that magical? You know, they used to do, they used to do things like this, but we've gotten so modern and all the ways that we do what we do and it's so good. I keep saying like, let's go back to our roots, right? And, and create a legacy, document your process and your path. And it's one thing to have nice printed notes and I think that's beautiful, but it's a whole other kind of magic when it's all written in your own hand and painted with your hand and some of it's with your left hand and some of it's with your right hand and it's all your little notes and scribbles and it's <clears throat> everything that matters to you in one place. We are so excited about Apothecary. And thank you for enjoying Crystalpedia too. My fourth book uh, just launched yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I mean, it means so much to me that you are enjoying that book too. It is a sort of like, a, some people call it a book of shadows or a grimoire. <clears throat> I think book of wisdom because for me, that's what I think of it as. It's like, I want whoever receives this one day, my granddaughter, to hold it and go, this is all that crazy lady's stuff. You know, it's all her, it's the herbs and what they meant to her and how she worked with them and the potions that she made and the pages are all stained and, you know? And the nice thing is there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can't mess it up. And yours is gonna be different from mine and mine is gonna be different from the next person's. And, and literally I'm gonna have you putting your hands in different potions and putting your fingerprints in there and I want it to just be stained and beautiful and scented like when you pick it up, you should smell the oils and, and everything, the, the stained pages, you know what I mean? It should, it, it's literally gonna be your signature in an heirloom that someone in your family is gonna treasure. But first, you're gonna treasure it. I mean, this is for you. This is for you at the end of the year. I want you to hold it and feel like overwhelmed with pride and with astonishment at the fact that like, how much magic you carry. This is your medicine. Right? And then we can think about legacy. And for me, like I said, as, as a wisdom keeper in my family, I would rather have this than a piece of jewelry. Candidly, I would rather have this than anything else. I, I look back now and everything my mom hand wrote is like such a treasure to me and my grandmother's handwriting and my great grandmother's handwriting, which I have a little bit of, I'm so lucky. More than the, more than the stuff, you know what I mean? It's their wisdom and their little notes and their little Bible passages that they wrote and the little flowers that they pressed, you know? Like they picked a flower one day and put it inside and closed it and it dried and we're doing it with more intention. Um, it's all on YouTube and it's all recorded for later viewing. So that's how we roll with our classes. So we have a nice live feed. Um, it's private, so it's not like it's out public on, on YouTube. And our Facebook group is private too. Because we, the one main thing you have to know, um, if you're new coming into programs, we become a little bit of an extended family and we're pretty honest with each other. And I, I, I protect that space. Um, and I have to tell you something, in all these years I've been doing it, it doesn't get violated. People really, there is such a kindness and tenderness and respect and and friendships that get built that have lasted now over a decade. And they're my friendships too. There are times where people in this group have carried me through some really challenging moments and I've carried them through some pretty challenging moments. So when we say we were no, it is absolutely true. We have become a family to each other. It's, it's such proof to me that energy is real because I don't think it could be any more real if we we're in the same room. And I can tell you over the years, but hopefully you guys can see me. I've had a chance to meet quite a few of our members over the years in person because we've held events before. Or like tomorrow night, I'm in Costa Mesa for a book signing at Williams Sonoma South Coast Plaza at six o'clock if you want to come and give me a hug. Um, but it's no different. Like when we meet in person, it's like, oh, you're exactly how I thought you would be. Like, oh, you too. Here, give me a hug. So we've, we've seen each other through some pretty radical ups and downs and, uh, and that Facebook group becomes a, you know, that's your sanctuary and we protect it and we make it fun and it's very active. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for that. Alexis said, uh, Shana said, this is an awesome community. Alexis said this next year will be her third. She can't imagine not doing the classes. Oh, you guys are so great. And it's true, you can see um, Terry wants to do my makeup. 
Come on over, honey. <laughs> um, estimated number of pages in the book will ink th soak through the pages. Ink should not soak through the pages. Um, they're the thickest pages I've ever had, Candace, in a, in a journal before without being um, like cardstock. Estimated number of pages. They probably had to have done a count, Candace. I, I, I don't wanna do it right here right now for you, but um, way more than doing two pages per month. So that's why I was saying, there's gonna be some guided recommendations for what to do each month. And we're gonna have like a curriculum. So this month we're doing the Apple, right? Um, and then I'm gonna have some recommendations too for other, for other um, things to include. And then we're gonna have some initi initiatory exercises. So I'm gonna have you do a dedication page. So you don't have to do it, but I'm gonna recommend that the first page is your dedication. You can choose who you dedicate the book to. You can dedicate it to yourself. You can dedicate it to your former teachers. You can dedicate it to future ancestors who will one day touch this thing and, and explain in your dedication how you want them to work with it or feel when they work with it. Um, and then we're gonna have some, like I said, other um, initial exercises I want you to do. Um, your own personal wheel of the year, for example, where you work with the alignments and correspondences and talk about what they mean to you. Um, and then from there, you can kind of take off and be creative with it too. I mean, each some of you might choose to organize it by month. So you might, you know, I could see myself doing this too. Actually count the number of pages, see how many pages you have per month and kind of break it down that way. So you could say, well, I don't know what it is, but maybe you have six pages or eight pages for January. How do you want to work with those? And then again, gathering things from your garden because certain plants and flowers are going to be available and accessible to you in January that aren't going to be available or accessible to you in July. And you don't have to finish it. You know what I mean? Like you could also leave space to continue this through future years. We did not date it for that reason so that if you wanna to continue to add elements to it once the year is done, you can totally do that. You can imagine how this interesting this will get, right? Yeah, oh, I'm so glad that you're excited about it, Candace. And it means a lot, I mean, a lot of you that I know in the feed are very experienced, seasoned practitioners. Candace and, and Vanya, who's a very seasoned mixed media artist. And so to see you guys get excited about something like this um, sends chills up my spine too, because I'm excited about it. And um, so I, I want you to know what's coming. I don't know exactly when it's coming. Might, you might know, Jasmine. I recorded a guided meditation, guided visualization about the origin of this class, uh, where I was, what I was feeling and experiencing. Next couple of days probably, right? What was that? next week. So um, we'll get that to you because I want you to, whether you have registered by then or not, and like I said, you can register now, nothing happens to your credit card. I take no money from you till January 1. There's no class right now. So I'm just, I'm getting you excited. I'm helping you get your space and I'm helping you know that if you are one of the first 1,000 to get the annual membership, and we have quite a few students do the annual because it's such a big savings then you'll get the journal for free, but you have to be in that window. So that's my main point with this with you, but you don't have to register until the end of December. Um, so you'll have this, I think it's 28 or 29 minutes of this audio that I recorded for you, kind of taking you into the Yucatan jungle to let you know where this whole program was born. And uh, my team, a couple of my team members listened to it and uh, said that they enjoyed it. So I hope that you will too. And so there'll be layers of, of time for us to talk more about it, to ask more questions. What I wanna say is, if you're watching the replay, let us know in the comments later and ask questions. We'll come back and answer them. If there are questions that you answered during this live that we didn't get to, one of us will come back and answer your questions here too. So this is still a great container to leave your questions and, and give us a chance to come back and respond. Um, uh, well, I'm excited because like I said, my plan for next year is to be more impromptu as well. Like you're gonna have those four classes, but then every quarter we do something called Elder Council, which is another meditation. It's a, it's a guided meditation to meet your spirit guides and ancestors. That's on top of everything else. I always do Elder Council, so that's part of my commitment. 
and then there's gonna be random like like we did last month in October like hey I popped on the Saturday and we made marigold wreaths <laughs> for the days of the dead you know it's just like I'm sitting out here threading marigolds do you want to join me or I might just pop on with you in the middle of a weekend day because I'm making bread and you want to make bread with me or um you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some of our herbs and making tea and an infusion and I want to talk about it. Um, I have this huge inspiration to um, start building a concept of a love potion, um, which would be an infusion of juices and teas. So, but making your own juice, you know, pressing your own pomegranates, like I said, or pressing your own um, fruits where you live and then blending those with herbal infusions to make these potions. So maybe I'm on teaching you about that because I'm, I'm in my kitchen pressing pomegranate juice and we might as well do it together. So there's gonna be a lot more kind of, of that impromptu content too in addition to the formal classes. And you can choose to participate as much or as little as you want and then everything's recorded so you can watch it later, which I think is fun. Now, unfortunately, my commitment to my spirit guides is Elder Council has to be for my core students in my main program and I know it sounds crazy but I can't do it any other way and I also can't not do it it's kind of like the full moon and new moon events always have to be public and free that can't change that won't change this year either I'll still be with you in every full moon or every new moon because it's part of the core commitment I have these agreements that I've made which might sound weird but it's just kind of the rules for school <laughs> um, all right well Keep asking questions. Team SG is getting ready to go home for the evening. If you are in Orange County, California, or anywhere near it, 6 p.m. tomorrow, I will be in Costa Mesa at Williams Sonoma in South Coast Plaza with my sister and Zoe. I think my I think my dad might be coming too, which is really exciting. Uh, signing books and giving hugs and, and drinking champagne, and we have a huge charcuterie board and. William Sonoma is giving away a whole set of Le Creuset cookware to one of you who shows up. So that's pretty exciting. It's my favorite cookware. And uh, yeah, so if I don't see you tomorrow, have a beautiful rest of your evening and your Thursday. And keep asking questions here. We'll come back and answer them. Get ready for Apothecary. It's coming. <laughs> Good night, you guys. We'll see you soon.